big data, snacks and art. Not an obvious connection between the three, but here at the UK's Open Data Institute in London, they've brought them together. Ellie Harrison's vending machine scans BBC News for terms relating to the economy and as the economy gets worse, the machine provides you with free food. Apparently, during a recent statement about the UK budget, the machine dumped its entire contents. But what has this got to do with data? Gavin Starks, CEO of the Open Data Institute, explains. Really, it's about how can we translate data into something that is more meaningful and, and relevant to people's lives without having to talk about the data all the time. This is an artwork called The Body by an artist called Stanza. A larger-than-life scan of his own body, it's full of lights that flash randomly on and off according to data he collects. He's created a network of sensors like this one all around South London and they measure things like ambient noise, temperature, environmental data and bring it back into this sculpture. The artist deliberately doesn't tell us what the transformation is, so you can't work out what light is flashing or what thing is clicking based on uh, the data itself. And it really does ask this question of what is the ambient information around us that we can internalise. One of the more troubling pieces in the collection is by Fabio Antonori called The Obelisk. It's a translucent pillar that goes cloudy every time crimes of aggression, crimes of war, genocide or crimes against humanity are mentioned somewhere in the world online. Unfortunately, it constantly flickers. And each of the faces here changes its transparency. The frequency of the pulses that you're seeing on each face relates to the frequency of the uh, discovery of those terms. Okay. Presented in this religious-like context does speak to data as truth. Who, whose truth are we believing? How are we translating that into a way that is meaningful to our lives? And I think with this piece acting as, if you like, a, a lighthouse, a little beacon in the middle of our office here, does remind everybody in an ambient way that there are some really significant challenges that we all need to be working on together.